After an hour's drive from Kashan, I reached Badrud to visit the shrine of Aqali Abbas and Sayyid Muhammad Azgar. Peace be upon them. You will see the dome miles before reaching the shrine. Born from Lady Ummi Muhammad, they were the youngest sons of Imam Musa Qazim salam and the real brothers of Imam Ali Reza salam. Sayyid Muhammad Azgar being only 11. There were five major migrations of the Ahl al-Bayt or the Sadat to Iran over the course of time. Aqa Ali Abbas and Sayyid Muhammad Azhar were part of the fourth collective migration. They came here to be by the side of their brother Imam Ali Reza salam, who was forced to move to Iran by the Caliph Mamun Rashid. This part of the country had a significant population of Shias. With much respect and reverence, they were hosted by the leaders of Kashan, including Abdul Jabbar Tabarsi, a long-time adherent of the Ahl al-Bayt. After staying in the vicinity of Kashan and Finn for a while, they moved to the villages of Yazdalan and Badrud. There too they were well received by the rulers and people came to see them in hundreds on a daily basis. The locals were overjoyed to have the brothers of Imam Ali Reza al-Islam amongst them. As a result, Aqa Ali Abbas and Sayyid Muhammad Azhar stayed here for several days. On the Wednesday of the 7th of Rabil Awal, 200 people came to them with the news of the martyrdom of their elder brother, Imam Ali Reza al-Islam, who was poisoned by the Caliph Mamun Rashid. They stood up weeping and crying. They, along with their supporters, mourned his death for 40 days. In the meanwhile, the Caliph Mamun Rashid received news of their presence in Iran. He assumed that they would rise up against him, along with their supporters, when in reality, they only intended to return to their home in Medina. So he deployed the infamous and notorious Lashkar e Semnan to surround and kill them. After remaining under siege for several days without food and water and in order to avoid a cold-blooded massacre of the supporters, they left in the middle of the night to return to the homeland. But as fate would have it, they found that all their routes had been blocked. They were young but brave. So instead of trying to run from the army, they walked straight to the palace of Mamun's regional governor. Hunger, thirst and fatigue had already taken a toll on their bodies. The eyes of Aqa Ali Abbas had turned pale and they were literally coming out of their sockets. They were going to die that day, but they were going to die fighting. So they fought as only the Bani Hashim can. Hungry and thirsty like Imam Hussain in Karbala, but fearless and daunting like Imam Ali in Ohad and Khaybar. Ultimately, Muhammad Azhar fell mortally wounded. He was beheaded and his head was raised on a lance like the martyrs of Karbala. Aqa Ali Abbas was captured and thrown from the palace minaret like Muslim bin Aqil in Kufa. What was done to their bodies? I don't even know how to say this. They were cut to small pieces. Their flesh was mixed, cooked with dates and sent to the people of Kashan as a gift with a message that this is what we do to the Ahl al -Bayt. And if you continue to support them, this is exactly what we will do to you. They tried to bury us. They didn't know we were seeds. In my experience of life and travel, this phrase doesn't fit anybody as well as it fits the Ahl al -Bayt. For wherever they are killed, that land becomes theirs forever. And people literally come searching for their footprints. The shrine built in the courtyard with a total area of 36,000 square meters is truly a sight to behold. The dome, a fine example of Safavid architecture, is 45 meters in height and 23 meters in diameter, one of the largest domes in Iran. The unique plaster work is nothing like I have seen in any shrine before and believe me, I have been to quite a few shrines. I simply couldn't take my eyes off it. Safavid and Gorgani art at its best. I know for a fact that most of the people watching this documentary have heard their names for the first time. so. My message to the viewers is this. Share their story with your family and friends. And if you can make it, then make it to the shrine of Aqa Ali Abbas and Sayyid Muhammad Asghar. You may find it a little out of the way and hence you may have to come searching. But then again, that is exactly what Ziyarat is all about. Salams to all.